Saturday, January 20th, 21st, 22nd, that's the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The sun is in Aquarius and the moon is in Gemini. I love this combination. First of all, I was married to a man who has since passed this world and he had the most wicked sense of humor. It tickled me all the time. Why? Because Aquarius just has this roaming mind where it kind of free associates and thinks of things and Gemini says it all out loud. So you put the two together and there's this uninhibited version. I remember sitting on the subway and he looked over at me and said, were you looking in the mirror when you put your makeup on? I was like, that's kind of insulting, but I saw his point. I mean, what a funny one-liner. I could make a list of them. The freedom of Aquarius Gemini to say the first thing that comes to mind. That's going on. The sun just moved into Aquarius. It's at zero degrees. We call this a cusp. And only with leap year can you determine what day that year the cusp is occurring. So the sun is at zero degrees on the 20th. However, that is an Aquarian, because for those that don't know, when there's a zero degree sun, they're carrying both influences. They're not either in Capricorn or Aquarius. So the energy is shifting, but by the 21st, it's fully in Aquarius because the sun moves one degree every single day. So if it's zero on the 20th, on the first, it's one degree. And leap years happen every four years. Oh, that was a Gemini Aquarius thought. And every four years, that marker of whether or not there's going to be on the 20th or the 21st changes. Sometimes it's the 19th. So people that are born on the cusp, you have to look at an ephemeris. This is an opportunity to talk about astrology, which by the way, Aquarius Gemini is fascinated by because they love noticing personalities, people talking with their hands, being interested, being fascinated. And astrology, the word the cusp, only occurs when it's really true that a planet's at zero degrees. Otherwise, you're not on the cusp. It's like partially being pregnant. That's not how it works. You're either in or you're out. But that zero degree marker, mm, that's going on in the 20th. The baby born would be between the worlds. The rest of you, Aquarius is on its way. There are three planets in Capricorn, however. And during this weekend, the lightness, the air finally being here, have some fun. Communicate to your friends. Make sure you're having a little entertaining intellectual appetite because January 20th, 21st, and 22nd, there's air in the heavens, finally. And the full moon's coming on the 25th. So if the energy starts building and you're noticing it, it wouldn't surprise me, said Astrology Answers and Deborah Silverman.